it behooves tenants to organize and pay attention to state and local governments when bills like these are proposed and pushed back or they'll see their rights eroded by a thousand cuts. Also, too, if you're in a position where you violate whatever your lease agreement is, how long should you get to stay there? A lot of people don't end up paying their rent. They don't lose their job. Like, okay, here we go. And people might not like this because it's housing. But when you're renting, right? Because this isn't a rent situation. We don't we don't have this issue when we're talking about people who um, default or get foreclosed on when it comes to their mortgages. But you're paying a mortgage, you're paying rent. In short, you're paying money to someone to live there as long as you continue to make those payments. Rents, you know, a year lease, 15 months, 18 months, whatever it is, right? Nine months, whatever it is, you got a lease agreement. With a mortgage company, you got the same thing. Your bank, whoever has your mortgage, got the same thing. It's just, you know, you have a lot more leeway because technically you quote unquote own the property. You're not a renter. They're right. You have home ownership. Excuse me. But regardless, when people have mortgages, they get foreclosed on. What, what rights do you have? You don't, you can't live here no more. The same thing with renters. Regardless if you lose your job, this, I mean, obviously, if you get disability, different you know laws come into place there. But a lot of times, people just they just lose their job for whatever reason. It's not your landlord's or the bank's responsibility to have understanding when it comes to you losing your job. You're supposed to make these payments, and now you can't make the payments. And if you don't make these payments in a certain amount of time, per whatever the paperwork you signed is, you gotta get up out of here. I, I don't know why we're sitting there acting like all these people not paying their rent as far as tenants because they got disabled. We don't have all these disabled people I'm talking about they, they need the data. We don't have all these disabled people out here. To the point where you know it's impacting people not being able to pay, you know, their rent. All right, because we're saying tenants here, we're talking about renters, we're not talking about homeowners. Okay, Mark Rourke, law professor, University of Tulsa, back to Oklahoma, I guess, who studies squatters and homelessness, described the anti squatters bill as low hanging fruit for political points. It's a way for legislators to say, look, I'm doing something to protect your property instead of any substantive, substantive, su substantive substantive housing policy. Rourke and other housing experts found that squatters rarely gain ownership of a property. The question here is whether or not they gain ownership. It's the timeline and the fees that come along with getting them out of the property. In most states, the period of occupancy required to claim ownership ranges from five to 20 years. We're not talking about claiming occupancy. We're talking about the fact that someone is in your house in any form or fashion and you got to pay money to get them out and they can they don't need to get out immediately. Goddamn virus protection popped up and scared the shit out of me. Excuse my language, but like I'm, I was literally scared. If you see me jumps, because a loud ass windows noise. Anyways, however, Amy Starcheski. These names are crazy in this article, by the way. I am getting destroyed when it comes to these names. A cultural anthropologist at Columbia University, back to the Ivy League. I believe Columbia is Ivy League. Columbia is Ivy League. It's like Princeton. Okay, cool. Okay, Amy, who has documented the stories of squatters in New York City, noted that some who take shelter in derelict and abandoned buildings eventually do end up owning them. So many people are in the need of basic shelter, and there are people who are squatting intentionally to challenge private property as a legal and cultural institution, Starcheski said. This might be a moment when people freaking out about squatting are actually freaking out about access to housing and who gets to own a home and who doesn't get to own a home. Okay, cool. I was reading that quote then, a disclaimer. All right, again, all right. So this is anxiety over squatters fueled by TikTok inspires a wave of legislation. Opponents of the bill call the trend a manufacturer crisis that could affect legitimate tenant protections again by Robbie Secure. All right. But before we end, we're going to go to a short article. And again, this is March of this year. The squatters hunter takes aim at tenants, at, at illegal tenants across California. So this is the squatter hunter. Okay. I don't know if you guys have seen this, this is in California. In short, he was the same situation. I believe it was his mom home and he was trying to do renovations, something like that. And then the people, they, were, they had squatters in there. And so in short, he, I believe he goes around helping people get, get squatters out of their property. So this is Flash Shelton, who has taken matters to his own hand when it comes to squatters, using his own experience with the legal 
tenants to help owners, homeowners across the state of California, affectionately known by many as the squatter hunter. Shelton gives squatters a taste of their own medicine as he looks to drive them out of the homes they've taken over without any real threat of legal consequence. All I'm doing, this is uh, from Mr. Flash Shelton here. All I'm doing is becoming a squatter and flipping this process on them. Shelton said, I figured if they could take a house, I could take a house. This genius. He said, fine, I'll just be a squatter with the squatters. And then he ends up getting them out the house. Let's see how he does it, y'all. Shelton has been busy taking back properties across the West Coast for the last year. Starting this, his mission after a squatter invaded, again, his mother's home that they were trying to sell. See, people are trying to sell homes and someone's squ- like that. I don't even, I don't understand. If I put a house up for sale, how can someone then squat in it and I have to go through any process outside of calling the police to get them out? Yeah, nobody's in here because I'm trying to sell the house. You don't like what are we talking about? There are no there are no tenants rights here. We said we said we're trying to sell the house. If they want to buy it, they can they can put an offer. We ain't no issue. Sell, we're trying to sell it. <laughs> we're trying to get off our hands. Oh my goodness. In response, Shelton had his mother give him a lease for the home so that he can move in, making things very uncomfortable for the squatter. Again, the squad they have to prove that the squatter does can't stay there, but that he can still get a lease and live there. I'm not going in. And I'm not hurting anyone. I'm not kicking them out. I'm not throwing them out, Shelton said. Instead, he's turning the tables, forcing those squatters to go to court in order to fight to get the property for themselves, as opposed to the homeowner having to go to court to get them out. Wow, so he's putting the pressure on the squatters. Interesting. And also, too, it's likely these squatters don't have any money. That's why they're squatting. Since posting his first video on YouTube more than a year ago, year ago, Shelton has been able to do it a dozen more times. He makes his way into homes occupied by squatters, squatting alongside them until he can force them to leave. He brings cameras recording every moment as he creates as many minor nu- nuances, nuisances, excuse me, as he can until they get fed up with him. So sure, he just becomes annoying to get him to leave. Interesting. Younger sibling tax, I guess. Shelton says that the issue isn't isolated in California, that the United Nations estimates there are at least a billion squatters world- worldwide. So over 10% of the world population is squatting. How do they get it? There has to be a squat. There has to be a a squatting issue then in California. I mean, California and in India and China to get to a billion people because the issue is not. I mean, it's not like a, there are, there's not a hundred million people with squatters issues in the United States of America. That'd be over a third of the population. They think there's a billion people according to the United Nations. I would wish they had a link to that information. Let me see if I can find that. If the United Nations saying they have a bit, I mean, I guess everybody just says how many squatters they believe they have. Wow, that's that's crazy. I couldn't find anything. But I guess if all the nations just have their numbers on how many people they think are squatting, then you get to a billion. That's crazy. That is crazy. As he continues to fight on his own terms, he's pushing for lawmakers to make things more official. Squatters laws never were intended for residential properties. Boom. He said, again, this is is people talking about abandoned buildings. We're talking about people, residential properties here. We're not talking about office space. We're talking about a commercial, however you want to phrase it. We're talking about residential properties here. It's in the neighborhood. They were never intended to support breaking into someone. Again, as I said, the verbiage they say, the police say you need to use to break into someone broke into your house so you can make it a criminal matter. Sheldon contends that there needs to be a clear definition between tenant rights and squatter's rights. I think that's the clear definition right there, Mr. Shelton. Tenant versus squatter. All right. And people who can transition from a tenant to a squatter, let's make up a new word and say you don't transition from a tenant to a squatter, you transition to something else. All right. It needs to be separated out to where squatting criminal tenants serve civil process. Until then, he plans to continue helping as many homeowners as he can, pushing out those who don't belong. All right, y'all, again, excuse me, Squatter Hunter takes aim at illegal tenants across California. This is by Joy Benedict, you know, CBS. All right, y'all, that's it, locked and loaded. Shout out to the squatters out there, not shout out to the squatters, but um, shout out to uh, Chris, Kristen mentioned her last name, transgender woman who said that they got kicked out of their home in 2022 by their parents and somehow still has access to, like, um, my assumption is you're working. Because you have money, I guess, to pay for your cell phone bill to access the internet. I don't know how you access the internet to get all this information. Right? That's always the confusing thing. People who don't have money but still have, you know, resources. 
right? I mean, how do you get the resources? Anyways, though, again, squatters' rights. We see in some states, more the conservative states, shout out to New York, trying to make some progress. You know, they got a lot of people in the city of New York. But it, it's just very interesting to see that there's a conversation. I know you got the tenants' rights there. I mean, what, what's on the books is on the books, right? You can't you can't just make up new laws, you know, out of thin air when an issue is happening. But it's interesting to see that there's any friction. Shout out to Eric Dunn of the National. Uh, where is he at? Eric Don, director of litigation at the National Housing Law Project, trying to make it seem like tenants are going to get their rights infringed on. Sure, if you want to say, because you're on the other side of the aisle here, open up a can of worms by introducing squatters' rights, cool. But at the end of the day, this is about people who have no proof of ever living at this home and getting them out of the home. That That's it. That's what people are complaining about. People aren't complaining about their people in their commercial properties. That, that's, that's not the case. These are people, again, as we saw with Flash Selston, Flash Shelton and talking about, hey, he's trying to sell his mom's home and now there's people in there. Now he's going to get a lease from his mom to go stay in the house so he can get the squatters out and be annoying. What are we talking about? Then the other person there, the 95 year old, again, in California, Cynthia, against California, just like what Flash Shelton is at, Cynthia Chidester's um, has had an issue at her 95 year old mom's home and again like i said before i even got to that part of the article some some way one of the ways to get people out is maybe create a criminal issue it might be a dv and literally that's what the article said they had to create a domestic violence situation to get the squatter evicted in april and, and i mean we, why why do we want people fighting out here we want people fighting because they somewhere that shouldn't be all right let's just it's y'all locked and loaded went went a little a little a lot out of you know my uh my 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 death here, my my trying to expand my breath and my death as far as, you know, it's tackling the squatters issue. But look, we try to discuss, you know, everything in between here. You know, obviously it's financial things. We're talking about housing, getting people evicted, things like that. But, you know, trying to expand the topics that we're covering on here to give you guys as much information as possible so you can truly see what's going on out here in the world, you know, particularly the United States is the world we are like living in. You know, we do got listeners, you know, across the world. So it's like, you know, it's not like it's a hundred of y'all, but, you know, the um, unless people are on a VPN maybe right to change their location but again shout out to the squatters out there and shout out to people trying to get the squatters out it's unfortunate for those of y'all in these situations where people should not you know they have no legal right to your property now you're to spend this, all this money to get them out all right that's it y'all you need to comment like share and subscribe shout out to the youtube algorithm make sure you leave those rating reviews on the podcast platforms as well my information as well as my code store information can be found in the description on youtube jordan and stop stalling j on socials his business page is finallyfit.live, where you can sign up for the 5.30 a.m. virtual training sessions. And my information is silent underscore core. You can reach out to me for the financial coaching information. All right. Again, I'm still, I got to sit down and troubleshoot the um, my audio issues that I'm having as far as taking out of context to react to videos on here. So I still got to sit down and troubleshoot and figure out how to get that working. Because now that, if you want to talk about something that's piling up, that's that's piling up and more shout out to the hawk to a girl right i mean there's so there's so much stuff that that hits the internet right that i won't not, not that i was going to cover that because that's, that's not something i will cover but you know trying to get you know that that working so we can have a different flavor of content versus me reading articles so we can have the video slash audio aspect coming in as well all right remember y'all if you have any comments questions concerns please reach out to us all right remember to say more say less Keep making better your best. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.